Hey! My favorite thing about watching all of this old media is seeing innovation happen right before my eyes. One show that took that idea of innovation to the next level is the show that's in the title of this video and in the thumbnail, Dinosaurs. Now this show, all I can remember about it as a kid is that it terrified me to the core. I was a kid who was scared of mascots. <gasps> I'm sure there's a lot of you out there, I hope. Maybe there's a support group as well that I should talk to or something. But I, I, I didn't like things that, you know, took on human characteristics, but weren't recognizable humans. So the show Dinosaurs freaked me out. Here I am on this day, taking that fear, just to see how exactly this show has aged. It seems like it's a great show. So I'm not gonna let fear stand in my way anymore. We're gonna watch a random episode of Dinosaurs because that's the best way to see how a show exactly has aged. All right, so the random episode I got is episode one of season four titled Monsters Under the Bed. So Dinosaurs takes the standard 90s family sitcom trope and instead replaces all the characters with dinosaurs. So Dinosaurs follows the Sinclair family. You have Papa Dinosaur Earl Sinclair. You got Mama Dinosaur Fran Sinclair. And then you have the siblings Robbie and Charlene. I love Robbie's got a Letterman jacket on and he is a dinosaur. And then you've got the most annoying character in the history of all TV, which apparently after doing some research, everybody loved. Baby Sinclair, who is the baby. I'm terrified, by the way. You've done it! Oh, they laughed at me, Igor. All right, right away, this show gives me that just uncanny valley feeling. I... It hurt me to start watching this. Getting through the episode, it's just like, I don't know, there's something about it that really makes me uncomfortable. So I hope I'm not the only one. Please, please let me know I'm not the only one. I don't want Baby watching these awful, scary movies. No, no, I want to watch the movie. Not I want to see the scary mm -hmm. stuff. Fine, stop this intellectual growth. Ah, <sighs> so right away, picked an episode where it seems like Boom. Baby is going to be the main character being totally afraid of this scary movie or show that Earl Sinclair made Baby watch. <sighs> right away, Baby is annoying. How the heck is Baby, like, the center of an episode? Did people actually watch this beforehand and say that Night, voice? Mama. Good night, sweetheart. Night, Mama. Good night. Night, Mama. Good night. Good night. Mama. Good night. Mama. night mama. That voice is totally not annoying. Let's make this whole episode based on it. Mama! We're gonna toughen it out, though. I'm really facing a lot of things. A lot of, uh, con a lot of, uh, what's the word? What's the word? What is it? A lot of... Okay, so they watch this scary show. Of course, Baby's now having nightmares about the monsters under their bed. There's no monster, sweetheart. No one's trying to eat you. All right, so Fran is a wonderful mother. We get to see that right away. Earl, he's an all right dad, but clearly he just wants to have their Thursday night, which um, I think, I think we know what that means. It's Thursday night, Thursday night, a wonderful, fabulous Thursday night. <laughs> they're dinosaurs. They're dinosaurs. We don't need to talk. They're dinosaurs. We don't need to talk about that. Okay, continue on. All right. I believe I know a little bit about child psychology. The next time you see that big, ugly monster, you take this special monster bat and let him have it. What? All right, so the main plot... With this episode, baby nightmares. The parents gotta stay awake with the baby, and that might last just for one night. Psych! Last. 15 nights later, Earl and Fran are still staying up until the crack of dawn, 
just so baby isn't scared of this monster under their bed. Your dinosaurs. What other monsters could there be? Your dinosaurs. We're going to a motel. Far away. We have to get one good night's sleep and then we'll be back. Maybe. The number's on the fridge? No. Fran and Earl decide, enough's enough. We're packing our bags. We're going to a hotel, motel, holiday in for a night. Robbie and Charlene, they can watch Baby Sinclair yes. just <laughs> fine. It's only nightmares. Baby's in oh. bed. Parents are gone. Stop. Pop a couple of frozen pizzas mm -hmm, in the oven, mm -hmm. and I've got some long-distance calls to make. <laughs> it's a plan. Party. <laughs> Mama! Huh? Wrong. It wasn't only nightmares. Baby Sinclair, not just whining. It's literally Elmo, by the way. If you're hearing that voice, you're like, is that Elmo? It literally is Elmo. And there literally is a monster digging a hole underneath Baby's bed. Fran, bye. Great knowing you for 30 seconds here. And Robbie, to no, tough guy, tries to do some humor once. for baby and sees that giant hole under the bed. So this is where we get a little bit of adventure, which is actually pretty fun. And also the set design and the costumes. How? The show ran from 1991 for four seasons. And look at this. It's all practical effects. I think there's a behind the scenes video on YouTube that I need to watch because this alone has aged incredibly. It's terrifying, sure, but it looks amazing. So let's dive into this hole as well with Robbie, Charlene, and Baby. You're chicken, aren't you? No, oh, no, I'm thinking of you. Chicken boy! Cluck, cluck, Stop cluck, it. Cluck, 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 cluck. Now hurry up and get me out of here. He's going to cook me for dinner. So for as annoying as Baby is... Very brave little baby crawling through that cave to uh, search after the monster and save their big sister, Charlene. Look, I don't know what he's doing, but I'm sure it's something absolutely diabolical. <gasps> uh? Earl and Fran were having such a relaxing night in the hotel, but the kids didn't answer the phone. I'm sorry, Earl, but I called three times and no one answered. Something is obviously wrong. So when you don't hear from your kids for a whole night, you book your dinosaur butt home and you check on them. And of course, they're nowhere to be seen. There are two pizzas here and they haven't even been touched. Good enough for me. I'll check the baby's room. Swell. Oh, and uh, I'll check the refrigerator. Earl stoked there's pizza. Other suspicious but Fran stops. is not stoked that her whole family is in a hole where there's monsters. Instead of diving in head first like Baby and Robbie did. Call the police! They're like, nah, we'll, ca we'll call the dinosaur police. And uh, kind of cowardly. Earl, you're giant. Just go in the hole. Simple. Jeez. The dinosaur police, I'm so happy they got called because this dynamic, it's wonderful. They're they're very funny. They they are they they uh, provided me a lot a lot of laughter throughout this episode as I hid behind my hands coiling in fear. You were right to call the authorities, Mrs. Sinclair. When citizens take the law into their own hands, we police have very little to do. Okay, so the police confirm it's a monster. Report. Ah, uh, back here, sir. Good. Right. Ah, uh, yes, sir, Chief. The hole checks out. We're clearly dealing with a monster. Of course, monster hole. Monster down there. There's a monster. Where is he? There he is. So they get the news reporters there, and it becomes this whole show where they get this many characters on screen at once. What? Like, how did they do this? What was the budget? It's insane. It breaks my brain to even think that this is all practical costumes and puppets. It's amazing. And speaking of puppets, the news anchor's last name is Hand Up Me. Let me, let me just... Beautiful. All right, so skipping through a bit, we get Baby getting ready to be cooked by this monster thing because the monster kidnapped all the kids of course and as the baby sits in a boiling cauldron <laughs> is literally in a news interview with hand up me and they come to this simple conclusion I got an idea. out of the chaos comes the lone tiny voice of a child just move the house Ernest is it at all possible could they actually just move the house Sure. That's it. 
They decide, all right, let's just pick up our house and move it off of the monster's hole because the monster was there first. How did this show go four seasons without them ever noticing there's a monster hole underneath baby's bed? Just now at the start of the fourth season, you're realizing it's a mo there's, there's, there's a monster's hole. But hey, we're watching a show with talking dinosaurs that have TV and everything that we have. We're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, wait, we're just gonna let it slide, guys. So that's it. They move their house. Again! <laughs> Concluded. <laughs> okay. I guess I was wrong. Again. <laughs> no, no, no! Billy, there's a giant monster squash out there! <laughs> So that brings us to our conclusion. How exactly did dinosaurs age? You know, going into this with my real deep fear about this show, I wanted to say that it extinct. But it really doesn't. The one weird thing about it is dinosaurs prides itself on kind of making fun of sitcom tropes and also other shows that are on TV. I really wish they had a laugh track. Is that weird to say? I don't think I've ever felt that about a show, but there's a lot of just like weird silence and they have gaps like there should be a laugh track, but there isn't. I don't know. I think it might benefit from it, but maybe I just got to watch some more episodes. So Dinosaurs came out in 1991. This show took a stand against a lot of social political issues as well as looking into the climate problem in the 90s. It really just stared at it in the eyes and used these amazing dinosaur characters to talk about a lot of real world issues. And I commend Michael Jacobs for doing that. I think it's brave, pretty remarkable to use his platform to actually speak on these issues while taking some goofy dinosaurs to be the representation and talk about all these issues. Also, I can't end this video without talking about the series finale. It shows the literal extinction of dinosaurs through the Ice Age. This is very sad. I'm going to play the clip of the finale, so we'll watch that, and then we'll wrap it up here. Understand what? Well, little guy, what happened was Daddy was put in charge of the world, and he didn't take real good care of it. And now it looks like there won't be much of a world left for you or your brother and sister to live in. What's going to happen to us? Well, I don't exactly know. Dinosaurs have been on this earth for 150 million years. And it's not like we're going to just disappear. It is so sad and just baby like <laughs> man, it, like I, when I watched that for the first time I was actually a little bit shook I was very sad but hey get yourself a Disney Plus subscription and watch through all of dinosaurs because I think I'm gonna take the time to do the same once I can continue getting over my fear so how did dinosaurs age uh, Tyrannosaurus Riffic. That was one of my worst ones. Well, thanks for watching again. Also, like 95, 98% of you aren't subscribed. So if you made it to the end of the video, you should subscribe. It's fun. It's free. And I'm going to do more videos. So thanks for stopping by. And you know what they say. Keep aging. Keep aging.